For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. At its foundation, Palantir specializes in data management and analytics, catering to both government entities like the Central Intelligence Agency and commercial clients such as healthcare providers, retailers, and financial institutions. The company assists its customers in analyzing, managing, and visualizing extensive data sets in real time. Palantir offers three main products, Gotham for government clients, Foundry for commercial customers, and Apollo, which enables smooth continuous integration and delivery across various environments. Despite the debate over its stock price, there are several reasons to be optimistic about Palantir. These include its success in gaining commercial market share, expanding profit margins, and significant growth potential, particularly considering its early stage in the market. To fully appreciate Palantir's potential, it's crucial to understand its history. The company was established in 2003 by Peter Thiel, Nathan Geddings, Joe Lonsdale, Stephen Cohen, and Alex Karp. Their initial goal was to combat terrorism using fraud detection systems similar to those employed by PayPal at the time. By 2005, Palantir had secured the Central Intelligence Agency as its first intelligence services client. This success led to contracts with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, National Security Agency, New York Police Department, and other notable organizations. In 2016, Palantir expanded its offerings by launching Foundry for commercial applications such as inventory management and supply chain optimization. Four years later, in 2020, Palantir introduced Apollo to support Gotham and Foundry by managing dependencies updates, and various operational tasks. Over time, Palantir has evolved from a small company with a limited presence in the United States to a global leader in data analytics and intelligence software. Today, the company operates in 150 countries, including the United States and United Kingdom, helping clients integrate structured and unstructured data to derive meaningful insights. Palantir's platforms have become the preferred choice for high-profile commercial clients, and the company continues to secure contracts with government agencies. These factors contributed to strong second quarter results in 2024 and an upward revision of their fiscal year outlook. The company reported earnings per share of $0.06, cents, surpassing analysts' estimates by $0.03. Cents. This performance not only demonstrates Palantir's ability to exceed expectations, but also reinforces confidence in its growth trajectory. Revenue reached $600 $78 million, representing a 27.1% increase year over year and exceeding market consensus by $25.7 million. The United States commercial business grew by 55% year over year. Government revenue also saw a 23% increase, with United States government revenue growing by 24% compared to the same period last year. Palantir's United States commercial customer base expanded by 83% year over year to 295 clients. This growth is attributed to new customers like Tampa General Hospital and Panasonic Energy, who are benefiting from Palantir's artificial intelligence platform. For instance, it's helping to shorten patient stays at Tampa General and reduce equipment downtime at Panasonic. Palantir's bootcamp strategy has been crucial in driving commercial growth. The company conducts bootcamps with clients to demonstrate prototypes of their artificial intelligence platform, often leading to seven-figure deals and enterprise-wide implementations. Since launching the platform in mid-2023, Palantir has completed over 1,000 bootcamps in the United States. While the commercial sector is thriving, the government business remains strong. Total government revenue reached $371 million, with $278 million coming from United States government contracts. During the quarter, Palantir secured a new five-year contract worth $480 million with the United States Department of Defense for scaling artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities. Palantir's profitability streak is also noteworthy. The second quarter of 2024 marked its seventh consecutive quarter of net income profitability. Operating margins improved to 16%, a 14 percentage point increase year over year. The company ended the quarter with $4 billion in cash and no debt. For the full year, management anticipates operating income between $966 million and $974 million, with adjusted free cash flow between $800 million and $1 billion. Palantir's deal-making prowess is evident in its recent performance. In the second quarter of 2024 alone, the company signed 123 new commercial deals, nearly doubling the number from the previous year. 
they closed 96 deals worth at least $1 million, with 33 valued at $5 million or more and 27 at $10 million or higher. However, it's important to consider whether the current stock valuation is justified. Trading at 91 times forward earnings, Palantir stock is priced at a 292% premium compared to the sector average. Using this year's expected earnings growth rate of 44% for the price to earnings growth calculation, investors are effectively paying two times per unit of growth at $32.5 per share. This valuation is quite high. While Palantir's post-initial public offering performance was initially less impressive, it's showing signs of improvement. Looking ahead, if Palantir sales compound at approximately 20% annually over the next 25 years, it could potentially surpass $200 billion in revenue. While it's unlikely that Palantir will maintain a 90 times earnings multiple long term, the company's potential remains significant. Analysts are currently neutral on Palantir stock, with a hold consensus rating based on three buys, five holds, and six sells. Over the past year, Palantir's stock has surged by more than 115%, but the average price target of $25 implies a 20% downside from current levels. In the end, Palantir shows promise due to its strong financial performance and impressive deal-making in the data analytics sector. The company's solid results and growing market share are encouraging. However, investors should carefully consider the high valuation, with the stock trading at 91 times forward earnings. While Palantir's achievements are noteworthy, it's crucial to weigh the growth potential against the risks associated with such a high valuation. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.